everybody and welcome to another virtual partners read visit. My name is Cindy and I'm looking forward to reading with you today. Um, I work for an organization called Child Trust at Investors Management Corporation and we're really proud to support Partners Read and so it's a special treat to get to read with you today and we're going to read Twinkie the Dinky Dog. I just thought this one was a little silly by Kate Klimo and illustrated by Michael Fleming. So come along with us. Twinkie was a very big dog, at least in his own eyes. In the eyes of the rest of the world, Twinkie was dinky. Twinkie's owner treated him like a dinky dog. She carried him like a purse. She dressed Twinkie up in silly sweaters. She sent Twinkie to charm school. She called him Twinkie Poo, and she made him go potty on a wee-wee pad. That was the worst. Twinkie wanted to run with the big dogs in the big dog park. He dreamed of curb and tree trunk and new mown lawn and long, wide sidewalks in the misty dawn. But Bubba and Tank and Bertha wanted nothing to do with Twinkie because his owner carried him around like a purse, because his owner dressed him in silly sweaters, because his owner called him Twinkie Poo, because his owner made him go potty on a wee-wee pad. Bubba and Tank and Bertha growled at Dinky Dog things, at Dinky Dog treats and Dinky Dog tops and Dinky Dog collars and Dinky Dog shops. It was not fair. In his heart, Twinkie knew he was a big dog. Was this any way to treat a big dog? No, it was not. Twinkie would show them. <clears throat> He waited until his owner was busy talking on the phone. Then he wiggled and jiggled loose. He ran to the big dog park as fast as his dinky legs could carry him. The big dog saw Dinky Twinkie out running loose. They teased him. Bubba asked where his fancy collar was. Tank asked where his silly sweater was. Bertha asked where his wee-wee pad was. Twinkie told them he had wiggled loose, and now it was time for him to learn the big dog moves. The big dogs growled and scowled. Then they put their heads together. Bubba looked at Tank. Tank looked at Bertha. Bertha looked at Bubba. The big dogs agreed it was time to teach Twinkie the big dog moves. Look how happy he is. They showed Twinkie the big dog struts, the big dog growls, big dog snarls, and big dog scowls. Twinkie was getting the hang of it. But then his owner found him. She had been looking all over for her Twinkie Poo. Twinkie was sad that he had to go home. Twinkie tried out the big dog moves when he got home. He tried the struts and growls and snarls and scowls. Sometimes he even scared himself. Bit by bit, Twinkie began to feel like a big dog. Then there came a dark and stormy night. Twinkie heard a scary noise outside the door. So did Twinkie's owner. It was a robber. Twinkie's owner was scared. She reached for her phone to call the police. 
but she couldn't find it. She did not know what to do, but Twinkie did. Twinkie did what big dogs did. Twinkie scowled and snarled and strutted to the door. Growl rose to bark and bark rose to roar. Twinkie sent that robber running for his life. The whole world soon heard about Twinkie. His picture was on the front page of the newspaper. Things changed for Twinkie. No more being carried around like a purse. No more silly sweaters. No more charm school. And no more wee wee pad. That was the best of all. Now Twinkie ran with the big dogs, with Bubba and Tank and Bertha. Now Twinkie enjoyed Curb and Tree Trunk and New Moon Lawn and long wide sidewalks in the misty dawn. Twinkie was not dinky and now the whole world knew it. The end. Thanks for reading with me. Hope you have a great day.